Ahoy! Welcome to the Festival Bubbles of the 62nd Zlin Film Festival, where all the time we welcome some of the most sparkling, most charming guests of this year's festival edition, edition 2022. Like the guests that we're having with us today, they both represent a fantastic film called How I Learned to Fly, a film coming from Serbia, directed by Rasha Andric, and main actress is Klara Rvanovic. Um, Clara, I've been told that you're the one who's going to do most of the talking. Well, uh, yeah, I am, because Rasha is having troubles with uh, speaking some words. No, 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 no. Rasha has troubles with the confidence to speak some words, yeah, because we both exactly. know that he speaks he English. He does speak English, but yeah. he is way too lazy to, you know, uh, make a sentence and think about them. Rasha, how would you... Um, can you tell us the story in five sentences, like short sentences, because you're so lazy, you can do it in short sentences? Uh, film, kada sam leto, kada sam naučila da letim, je dečiji film u kome postoji paralelna priča koja može da zainteresuje odrasle ljude. Hoćeš odno? So the movie, uh, Summer, How I Learned to Fly, is uh, a story about... Uh, children that can uh, make uh, even older people and young people interested? Priča je o, o letovanju jedne devojčice koja umesto da ode na kampovanje sa društvom mora da ide na letovanje sa svojim bakom, a tamo onda joj se priključuje i bakina sestra, znači mora da letuje sa dve bake, što je naravno predstavlja kao predstavlja joj užasan problem, međutim to letovanje se pre, pretvori u divnu avanturu. <laughs> uh, so it's a story about a girl that is was supposed to go on camping with her friends, but instead of that she goes on a vacation, a summer vacation with her grandma. And uh, on that vacation, uh, another grandma joins them. And that summer holiday turns into a fantastic and a lovely trip instead of a disaster. Thank you. I druga linija priča je posvećena baki koja dolazi u svoje mesto rođenja posle 25 godina i glavna junakinja Sofija pokušava da otkrije šta se tu u stvari krije i Tokom filma otkriva i jednu porodičnu intrigu. And the other storyline is that uh, the grandma comes to her birthplace after 25 years and uh, there is a, let's say, family secret that the main character, Sofia, that I play, um, is trying to find out and... Uh, That's it. <laughs> I think your English is better than your Serbian, actually. <laughs> Uh, in this film, you can smell summer in its purest essence. There's ice cream, there's watermelons, there's swimming in the sea. Um, was it like always summer on the set? Well, it wasn't because uh, uh, we were filming on the beginning of September, like the beginning of fall. So it's not literal summer. Uh, but it was nice because it's like hot and the weather there is like nice most of the time. But sometimes we have rains that ruin the whole like uh, sequels that we had to like, you know, repeat multiple times. And Rasha came up with a, a scene on the set literally at that time because it was raining and we didn't know what to do because it was it wouldn't stop raining like half an hour so he literally made a scene right on set you look like a summery girl <laughs> you, you have a spring in your eyes and summer in your hair well thank you <laughs> i mean i don't love summer but that's how you fit to the movie I think so, yeah. I mean, Sofia is also a character that loves summer vacations, and she's not a person that would, um, you know, hate on summer vacation, especially if she doesn't have, if she does have a good, like, you know, company there. But she found good company and good, like, friend groups on Hvar. There's the sea, the islands, there's the, the cozy small town. How did these locations uh, influence the atmosphere on the set? How was it to work there? Uh, pa, priča je 
direktno povezana sa lokacijama na kojima smo snimali i ja sam se tu osjećao potpuno prirodno zato što moj deda je sagradio kuću na moru i ja sam ceo život provodio po tri meseca na moru i onda sam veliki deo svog iskustva primenio u filmu. Well, uh, the locations are like directly uh, connected with the scenes and the movie. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, Rasha is not, uh, it was not a strange place for Rasha to film because uh, he, his grandpa uh, built a house uh, on, on the seaside. So that's why he wasn't feeling uh, anything unfamiliar there. On the whole childhood, he's been there, and that's why he he basically put his emotions and his like experience into the movie. And Sofia was uh, doing similar things that Asha did as a kid. And uh, I'm just gonna like you know hook up uh, to his uh, answer. Mm -hmm. I also spent my whole childhood, uh, especially on Vis, which is an island right next to Hvar. So I wasn't feeling unfamiliar there also. Means that you as a child were also talking to a fish? Or at least met a talking fish? Do you meet them regularly? Well, listen, we're, depending what age size we're talking, <laughs> but I didn't speak to a fish. Well, actually, the fish was speaking to yeah, you in the film. Yeah, the fish film, was right? speaking to me. And that's a common thing in the place where you grew uh, up? Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, how to control chaos on the set? There's scenes with not just you, because I'm sure you're totally controllable. <laughs> 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 but there are scenes with plenty of kids, and it's all about playing and about diving into the water and about being wild. How could you, as a director, I suppose you loved a little bit of chaos on the set, but how could you keep it all together? Uh, I am in film industry like 30 years, and I work as second, second assistant, second assistant, first assistant, and I'm, I'm okay with that. And I have, I had a very good assistants in, uh, in, in this movie, and there is there is no, there were no big problems. Maybe weather. Kako se kaže poplava? Flatter, float, kako se kaže poplava? Float. Yeah, we have float. <laughs> In one moment. <laughs> the, 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 the reflect, the, kako se kaže, reflectory? Reflectors. Reflectors was in a, in a, in a water like, like mm. this. <laughs> it was you pretty don't interesting. You translate in Serbian now, eh? because, uh, because oh, the yeah. English was good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at, what do you want to add to the story? Well, it was pretty interesting most of the time since uh, there was a lot of children. I mean, there wasn't a lot of chi children. There was like, I don't know, so. less. Six. Six. Now, that was because they were not allowed to come close to you, but on the screen no. I saw there were a lot. They were, <laughs> they were really close to me, that's uh, what I want to say. Um, I actually bonded with all those children, and we're still in communication to this day. So it was pretty not chaotic since we like worked all together, and there was no drama between the crew. <laughs> the crew... Uh, the, the, the members of the crew, crew were from uh, Serbia and from Croatia and uh, uh, ca the cast is from Serbia and from Croatia and 30 years ago Serbia and Croatia there, there, there was a war between that two countries and the part of this film is about that but not in a, f in a, on a first view but somewhere underground. Mm -hmm. So it's about like how children bond, even not depending on about their, uh, you know, nationalities. Now you came from Serbia to Zlin. Mm -hmm. Growing up on the islands, how do you think about the city that you uh, that has welcomed you now? Have you been around already? 
Well, it's actually pretty cute and nice. Uh, I haven't had the, you know, uh, possibility to see this morning a little bit more, but yesterday was like the carnival or something. It was really like a lot of children, which um, surprised me because in it's Serbia... Just, it's, it's called... The Zlin Film Festival. Know, it's I, not the carnival. I, I it's what the festival does. But it, it reminded me of a carnival. That's why. <laughs> that's why I'm amazed. Um, in Serbia, the film festivals are not that engaged with children, and there. This is like a big like fest, and I'm really amazed how good this looks. And it, it really, it's heartwarming when I, you know, meet. I met you, and I really like you know, had a connection that I don't have to have like a guard up for you, uh, which I do sometimes in Serbia. So that's really nice and sweet. <laughs> um, I have one last question, because as you may know. Probably it's the first thing they told you when you arrived in Zlin. This is the capital of shoes. Yes, the Bata. Uh -huh. Exactly. We have a promotion spot, the Bata. <laughs> That's why I want to ask you, like, could you please show your shoes to the camera and tell us if you have something with shoes, is there a story behind the shoes you're wearing today or is there a story about you and shoes in general? Well, I do. Did you see that go to Okay. Uh, so, well, I, I am a sneakerhead, and I really like sneakers. But today I'm wearing Vans that I drew on because I like drawing. The <laughs> so, um, yeah, put, there isn't a story time. Put them on the table. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there isn't a story except no, that it's Vans and not yeah. sneakers this time. Okay. <laughs> What about yeah, Russia? Is it, is it is yeah, zero. so there is there is a story time. Nah, my sub but well, there is a story time about the you know laces because I never ever lace my shoes. Rasha used to lace my shoes on set because he thought I would fall and trip most of the time, and he does it today till this day. And I'm I never wear you know I never lace my like. Why would you do that? Okay. Do you have a story about your shoes? Nice. <laughs> mm. No, I have. Well, I haven't. I don't would, have. I haven't. It would have been difficult to uh, beat Clara's story anyway. <laughs> and, about uh, my ski shoes, I have too much, too many stories. But about these shoes, nothing. Okay. Next time you come to the festival, you bring your ski shoes. Yeah. And. You also bring Clara, because we had a lot of guests in our festival bubble so far, but I think none of them could compete with you. So thank you so much, both of you, for being here. It was such a pleasure. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your stay. You can do it! Yeah! <laughs> you're, no, I can do it, but I'm just way too lazy to do that. You're a grown-up now. It means that you can, <laughs> once you can tie your, uh, lace your shoes, you can also have a beer in the pub. That's what I've been told. That's oh, Czech oh. tradition. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Go to the, I was like, go to the pub and have a beer, but thank you for high-fiving me and um, enjoy the rest of your stay in Zlin. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank, thank you. you.